now we need to write something into the file sorry into the SD card but before writing into this file youtube1.txt we need to check the error so we have already copied that code we can copy paste here what we can do we can go till the end of a file using flseek so the flseek takes a two parameter as an input here we will give my file the address of my file and uh, then we need to seek uh, until the end of file so it is f of size and uh, we want a file size pointed by my file okay so it will seek to the end of file okay so and uh, here we can uh, we also need to check if it is seeked well or not so if res is not equal to the for ok then go to the go into the error handler okay so now we need to write data into the file so we can call fprintf okay fprintf will write data into the file okay so the fprintf or you can uh, just call a fwrite fine so we can call both together so either we can call fprintf if you want to write a formatted data and uh, either you can call directly the fwrite fine so the fprintf my file and uh, here I want to write a string formatted data and then buff wr okay so it was I think buff wr let me see it yes it was buff wr and uh, now we need to check key whether it has written well or not okay so we need to paste it here okay now we can close a file f underscore close the pointer okay my file now here you know we have open a file into read write mode and then we see uh, we went at the end of file then we have written some data into the file now again we will open this file and uh, we will read into a new buffer so what we can do it we can just copy this from here and uh, we can paste it here okay f open my file and the file which you want to open youtube1.txt and uh, just open it into the read only mode okay so f read means it will open this file into only read only mode now we have to check if are okay okay error one now either we can call f scan f or we can call a f read directly to read the file so f uh, res is equal to f read into the f read we need to give first the pointer address so it is my file and then address of the buffer in which we want to read it is buff rd so we have declared two buffers there buff rd and buff write now here it is a bytes read so here uh, we have given a parameter which will tell f read to read 30 30 characters from a file and uh, it will return a number of bytes read into bytes read parameter and now we need to check if it goes well or not fine we have read a file into buff rd now we need to close our file address of 
my file and uh, after this F closing after this F close we need uh, we need to unmount a disk so what we can call F mount okay and if we give here 0 so null parameters that means it will unmount the disk immediately from the board okay compile this code and uh, then we can debug it in using a debug window into debug mode then we will execute it step by step okay so let's uh, give here into the main okay a breakpoint and then come to this main let's go step by step and uh, after this what we can uh, we can see res into watch window and let's set watch window here okay you know earlier uh, for right now fr uh, okay this res is fr okay now here we are initializing our sd card let's see so sd card is initialized and it returns fr okay so that is fine sd card successfully initialized now we are mounting sd card okay fr is okay that means uh, sd card is mounted on the board now we want to open a file okay here it is also written fr okay that's mean we have successfully opened a new file youtube1.txt and now we are seeking till the end so it also went well that's mean we went to the end of file now we want to write uh, data into the file okay so it is also okay fine and now we have closed the file actually here uh, it must be res equal to the fpentf so this res is uh, we are not updating in this uh, uh, in this uh, uh, function so it won't affect here actually now now we are reading uh, we are going to read a file into read only we uh, will first open a file into the read only mode okay we have successfully opened a file into read only mode now we are reading a file into the bufferd what we can do here we can insert bufferd into watch window see this is test programming see we have read it successfully okay into the bufferd and uh, and we have written this data from a buff w r what we can do we can also add this into the watch window see it was the buff w r buff write and the buff read now both uh, parameter both uh, registers hold uh, equal both array holds uh, equal string now here we just close the file and unmount the drive and it will enter into the infinite file one loop so thank you for watching this tutorial and uh, stay tuned for the next tutorial uh, in which uh, we will interface uart with the micro sd card thanks for watching